Hi, I'm Gerald Reinhardt. Uh, I founded Reinhardt Racing approximately 25 years ago in Western North Carolina in Asheville. Uh, started out in the NASCAR world, Indy cars, anything that went fast, we made it go faster. So uh, in 2003, we came out with a line of motorcycle exhausts for Harley Davidson's. Last seven years, I've really been on a, a new chapter in my life. It's been very exciting, a lot of fun, and very challenging. And uh, I, I love it. It's kind of gotten a lot bigger than me, more than I can handle. So uh, to my left is Judd Hollifield. He is the CEO of the company. To my right is my son, Kyle. He is the COO of this company. So between the three of us, we really work hard. Uh, we got a great staff working around us, and uh, they they all do a great job to make this business work well. So I'll let Judd and Kyle tell you a little bit about where we're going and what we're trying to achieve forward with Reinhardt Racing in the motorcycle industry. We're excited about the opportunity to expand our product and our product line, the V-Twin industry. Uh, we've had a corporate transition uh, the last year and now we're direct with a lot of our dealers. Um, we're excited about the opportunity of working direct with dealers, expanding the product line, reaching out to all across the country, and even now globally to other countries around the world and providing uh, the premium product line that we offer. We have been and continue to be the world's premier performance exhaust company. Um, when we started, we were uh, purely on a research and uh, development basis. Uh, now, our business model has uh, rapidly expanded to incorporate sales, customer service, warranty, uh, call centers. We uh, coordinate manufacturing. Um, we're responsible for the customer uh, when they're interested in the product, as they buy the product, and we follow through with them after they purchase the product. Um, just to make sure that we just maintain the, the, the legacy that we want to leave. Through our corporate transition in the last year, we've taken a very aggressive approach, our business model, at transforming the company from, as Kyle spoke, a research and development standpoint to now a sales organization and a direct distributor. Uh, we're excited. About, we've, we've been, over the past year, distributing our product from one location. We're in the process of now uh, of completing a second distribution area in the United States. And over the next year or two, we'll be setting up other distribution points across the United States so that we can provide customers with the performance exhaust that we make, which is a premium line, in a timely fashion, uh, and so that we can maintain uh, our competitiveness in the industry. You know, in the motorcycle industry, I guess I am a little bit different because I come from the world of racing. And yes, uh, quality has to be top notch. Uh, aesthetics has to be there. But I've never sold any exhaust to any race team in my life on my word. I had to prove it. And so we try to give people what they pay for. And we take a lot of pride in what we build. So it's a, it's a, it's a big effort. It's a lot of expense and it's very time consuming. So, uh, you got to do what you got to do to make it the very best that you can. If you don't do the best you can, then why do it? Kind of the, that's kind of where we come from and where we're going. We're not going to change that philosophy. We have a real task set before us. Um, that's, that's no secret. Uh, you know, whenever you have to uh, use catalytic converters and you have to use certain things, you're basically stopping up the exhaust. and. As a performance exhaust manufacturer, it's a real hurdle to have to jump over. Um, but we've got some great ideas that are in the, the testing phases that we're real excited about. Um, so we're real, we're looking forward to having something that, that's zero three compliant uh, that still performs and sounds good. Um, that's our goal. In the same sense, if if we work very diligently and very hard towards meeting uh, the the requirements uh, in Europe, then when it does come and it will come here in the United States then we feel very comfortable that we'll be okay with the requirements here in the states also so uh, yeah it's a challenge to make something run and perform well 
and still meet the requirements with the catalyst and all that that has to be used for it to perform, uh, to meet the standards. So, uh, yeah, it's a challenge, but you know, that's that's why we get up every day. Uh, if, if it was easy, uh, we probably wouldn't be here because we're kind of hard-headed. <laughs> Chris, this is a real family-oriented uh, company, and when I say family-oriented, I don't mean that in the traditional or conventional sense. We're very, very thankful to be in the place that we are, the stage that we're in right now as a company. Uh, the uh, entire industry was very, very good to us uh, over the past few years, and what we do now, we don't forget about what's happened in the past. We're very thankful to the industry now, and when I say family-oriented, everybody that rides Reinhardt's on their bike, we consider them part of the Reinhardt family, uh, and we want to do everything we can to impress people that already ride ride hearts. Uh, we're, we're never going to be satisfied with what we make, even if we're leading the industry in performance. We're never going to be satisfied with it because we always want to step out and do better than what we've done before. And by doing that, we want to, um, we want to make the entire industry and people that ride our pipes proud of us, proud to, to ride the name Reinhardt on the back of their bike. It's, it's been a very, as anyone would know, it's been a very difficult process uh, in the economic climate that we've been in. There have been others in the industry that told us that we couldn't have picked a worse time to step out and change our business model, but the way we view it, we couldn't have picked a better time. With a lot of companies have taken a more conservative approach over the past couple of years due to the economic climate, we've taken a very aggressive approach. And what it's done is help us recapture a lot of the market uh, that seemed to have dwindled over the past few years in the economic crisis that our country was facing. And because of our aggressive approach, which has been very productive for us and very positive for us, we've reclaimed a lot of that market share and we're excited about what's to come. We've got a lot of new product and systems that uh, are in research and development right now and that will be offered to consumers in the Harley market uh, in the upcoming year. Something that we're very excited about. When other companies are pulling back production levels, we're increasing ours. Other companies are dropping certain lines, certain products. We're trying to fill the, um, fill the, the void and provide new systems. You can't get complacent because in the world of racing and the way that I've fed my family and paid my bills for many years, if you get complacent, you'll be left behind. And that's just another, that's just another way of, uh, of thinking that we have. Uh, really a belief that we have and every day we have to get up and prove it so this is why we're out here uh, at everywhere we can be and we meet greet shake hands and and take care of our customers uh, we have situations a lot of times that somebody might have a problem with something four or five six years old you know a product that's got our name on it and even still we take care of our customers because uh, they believed in our product to buy it and we, we try to support them the best we can to take care of any kind of issues, problems, that uh, is, that's just the way that we do business. It's kind of a farm to table uh, example. Uh, you know, nobody's going to understand the product better than that farmer. Nobody's going to understand our pipes better than we do. Um, you know, our, our last name's on that pipe. Uh, so, if somebody wants to know something about it, they can come ask a Reinhardt. Obviously, the price point. Um, you know, it's really easy to, uh, you know, it just costs more here in America. Materials cost more, uh, labor costs more. And, and uh, at the end of the day, we're here, we're an American business, we depend on American families. Harley Davidson is an American market. and. Uh, Red blood Americans ride motorcycles, so um, it's important to us, it's important to our customer base, it's important that we keep our, our materials and our workmanship in the States. Um, it's just, a, it's just what, it's what we believe, so we're going to continue to pursue that. There's a lot of people involved that feed their families and, uh, and work here in the United States where all the product is made and always will be made uh, because I am an American and American families need to eat. So uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, a lot of companies go, you know, offshore, they get a better margin, but uh, the quality 
is something that we stand on, we stand behind. Uh, our average uh, competitor in the motorcycle industry has a 90 day warranty on their product. And so to my knowledge, we're the only company in this business that offers an 18 month warranty. So that says what we believe in our product and the quality it's built with. Absolutely. Uh, people can contact our company directly. Uh, the dealerships can contact us directly. ReinhardtRacing.com, 1 877 264 8282 is our toll free number. Uh, and like Gerald said, uh, the, we're all family in this and, and we want to take care of our family.